Hi, I'm Nathan East. Welcome to my house. Come on in, I'll show you around. Well, I started playing bass when I was 14 years old, and one of the very first kind of big gigs that I had was with Barry White. From there, I went to UCSD, got a degree in music, and then I later moved to Los Angeles, where I met and started working with lots of artists like Quincy Jones and Eric Clapton, Michael Jackson, Phil Collins, and it's been going for about the last 35 years like that. I bought this house in 1995. There was a lot of light, high ceilings, and just a, a very good feeling of, uh, of a flow in the house. Let's start in the living room. One of my favorite rooms in the house because this is the room where we have music, pictures, lots of memories. This is the piano where I like to play, practice what my son actually plays. To get to play with my son Noah is um, it's one of the things we, we would play almost every night you know, before we go to bed. And it's, that's a lot of fun, so if ideas come up, that's, that's a bonus. The MTV Award for uh, Easy Lover, 1985. Good friend, Paul McCartney, Sir Paul McCartney. I think my taste in music are eclectic, and it ends up being the same around the house, you know. I travel to all parts of the world, and you know, I'll, I'll find a uh, piece of art, or, or a sculpture, or some piece of furniture that I, I think that'd look great in the house. Last year was a fun year because I got to uh, record with Daft Punk. And then we had the chance to play at the Grammys, which that performance was like being at ground zero for a musician. Everybody, Paul McCartney, Ringo, Beyonce, all these people in the audience dancing as well as 25,000 people at the Staples Center. It was just another one of those electrifying experiences where you feel like, Wow, this is, this is it, you know, there's nowhere else I'd rather be right now. But my favorite memory of all is the one of my wife and I getting married here back in 1995. And we had it set up like a little chapel and we were married right there at that window. So one of my favorite rooms in the house, the formal dining room, we have lots of fun antique furniture. This is from Belgium and we've had so many great meals and good times in here. Every Thanksgiving, Christmas, our folks' 60th wedding anniversary, right here in the dining room. So we now come to the backyard where we love hanging out, shooting the little hoops, swimming, and when we want to get into that nice meditative, relaxed state, we sit here and uh, enjoy the koi in the koi pond. But. My favorite thing about the backyard is the view. This is very special. My wife walked down these stairs when we got married. It was the very first time to see her in her wedding dress. And as I come down this hallway, it just brings back so many memories. Quincy Jones, Michael Jackson. This was back when records sold. This one sold eight million copies of Bad. Uh, Michael in the studio was just, he was a lot of fun. This was a moment backstage with my parents at the Royal Albert Hall in London. Peter Gabriel, Sting, and Phil Collins together with a picture with them. We played over 100 concerts in the Albert Hall with Eric Clapton or Phil Collins. As we come to my uh, guitar wall, some of my favorite guitars, this is my Yamaha signature bass. Probably the bass I've played more than any other bass on all my tours and records. But this is very special because I played this on the MTV Unplugged Eric Clapton concert. I just 
Each one feels a little different and they become like, almost like children to you. And if I feel like kind of inspired to go pick it up, I can do that. Anybody that's been around me for any length of time realizes that, you know, one of my favorite sayings is, is I love my life and I'm living the dream. To do what you love and it's your living, I mean, that's as good as it gets. I wake up in the morning and have a lot to be grateful for. <laughs>